Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now straight away here you can see the first thing I did today was I connected that outer ring that we built in last episode into the main sphere from the first episode. So as you can see in the bottom corner of the video here I designed a way to attach them that sort of morphed in from the width of the ring into the width of the circle on the sphere. So at the minute it is the same dimensions as the ring and I run round and do that on every side and then I went around and modified it slightly so that it fit in with both edges and looked nice and neat. You can see the finished product on the upper left there. So the next thing I did was I broke into the main hangar, I destroyed the overlap of steel blocks to make a little gateway in from the rim. And I did this on all four sides because today I wanted to focus on getting down the base structure of the inside of this sphere. So my plan was to have three different levels on the bottom that would then be mirrored on the top but that will be for a different day. So I started off by um, doing a layer that separated the bottom lookout station from the rest and I used that same white shiny gloss metal block that we'd been using before and I then came up to do a second layer and then there would also be a third layer I'm about to start and this third layer would be at level of the bottom of the big black ring at all the entrances and also those gaps in the middles they were coming out and expanding each time to give a nice sort of layered effect that you could look down and see all the layers and also look up which we'll be able to do once we build the top but that'll come a little bit later so I filled in the floors on all the sides, and this took a long time to do. It's very annoying when it's not a nice square shape, it's not a nice easy back and forth place and blocks, you've got to keep moving and curving your direction. It makes it just that little bit more awkward. But eventually we filled in the floor for all of the floors, and it was now time to move on and design a stairway down from the outer rain into the sphere and I followed the same build style of a copper tinish, not tin sorry, um, bronzish block for the outer layer and the same white gloss block for the inside walkway and unfortunately there were no stairs for any of these metal blocks we're using so I just had to make do with coming down using normal blocks and I did this replicated on all four of the entrance exits to this main sphere. So after that I came around and designed a sort of barrier around this outer curve, this inner sorry curved area that's hollowed out um, to stop people just falling off. It's, <laughs> even this may be a high tech futuristic space station but I'm sure there'll still be quite a few idiots on board that need this sort of protection for them. And I designed it using the black dark matter um, block because I thought that it gave a very nice contrast to the flooring that we would used a lot of at the minute. There was a lot of white around here that I wanted to kind of defuse. Then after building a double curved layered staircase I again thought we'd been using too much white so I decided to replace it with steel blocks that we had been using for the outer shell of the sphere because these were now very much seemed to be used less now that the layers were broken off into floors. So I thought it would be good to add a bit more of those in just to even things up a bit. And I then replicated that double staircase on the other side. So that there were now, from both sides, two ways to get down to the next floor. And this will probably be something I do again, rotated 90 degrees to get from this floor that we're currently on to the one beneath us. So that it has a whole looping system of stairs down through it because I think that would be very nice playing around with the navigation of this build. So that's all something you can do some interesting stuff with on a build. So back up to that top layer I continued the copper bronze outline of the walkways round in a sphere and sphere sorry in a circle around that inner hollowed out area and joining up to all of the exits. Now there's not going to be much in the way of utility or housing or function on this top floor it's going to be a main meeting walk area I might put some plants here maybe who knows 
but um, as you can see I'm also adding in some lights here but the layer below this and below that and the final bottom lookout area all need fins that can be added in. Now I'm planning on putting in the very bottom area a commandish area that will have tables and meetings for important places where you can look out and overview the space station and I'm going to include quite a bit of housing on the other two layers in between the center and the bottom but I would also like to add some function so I want you guys to let me know what you think would look good in the bottom half of this sphere but anyway here you can see what we have achieved today we have got this center area looking extremely nice i'm very happy with how this has turned out of course we still need to put all the function in the bottom and then replicate fins on the top but you guys are going to let me know what you think about fins that should be included as well as housing on this middle sphere so that has been this episode of let's build i hope you guys are still enjoying it if you are hit that like button you guys have been showing a lot of support for these videos which i'm really happy for also if you haven't noticed and watched it yet we have just released our 700 subscribers special i know 700 that's mad isn't it but we have released a minecraft let's play called minecraft war against the wither that's me and mitch and back to basics vanilla minecraft and it's really good video so go and have a check of that and see what you guys think but anyway this has been Let's Build a Space Station. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.